I'd like to welcome you to another Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll be focusing on FAC 1501 assignment number 5. Please note that if you did well in assignment number 4, there is no need for you to do assignment number 5. But if you want to improve the mark that you got for your assignment number 4, feel free to do assignment number 5. Please expect that in this assignment, you will have uh, roughly 26 questions. Eight of those 26 questions will be true or false questions. So there is no need for you to panic that the assignment is very long. And you will also get some other questions where they want you to pick a one out of four options, which are basically descriptive questions. Okay. Uh, in order for you to excel in this assignment, there are a number of topics that you need to be comfortable with. Uh, the first one is you must be comfortable calculating your depreciation. If you can calculate depreciation using your straight line method or your reducing balance method, you are guaranteed to have a minimum of 25 marks. Okay. Once you're done with uh, your depreciation, you need to also be comfortable compiling your inventory account uh, that question is worth 15 marks so if you do both uh, the depreciation question and the inventory account you are guaranteed to have 40 percent already uh, you must also be comfortable dealing with uh, credit losses uh, you must also be comfortable dealing with prepaid expenses or income received in advance if you can do that, you should be guaranteed at least 56 marks. Okay. You must also be comfortable dealing with your cash payments journal. If you can compile a cash payments journal, you should be guaranteed an extra 5 marks. So let me show you one of the versions of this assignment. You must be careful. When I give you an overview, I do not mean that every question that you see here will be identical to the ones that you're going to get. Uh, but the structure of the assignment will be similar. For example, an inventory account for one student uh, will have different numbers to the inventory account of another student. But if you are comfortable and you know how to do an inventory account, the numbers do not really matter because it's the same principle, it's the same concept, it's the same process. So that is just it. If in this assignment uh, you are comfortable doing the inventory account that is uh, given here, you should have no problems in your assignment. Okay, so let me show you the questions. Okay, so here the first question was a true or false question. Second question, true or false question. Third question, they wanted you to demonstrate if you know the different uh, elements uh, which is your assets liabilities income and expenses uh, then the fourth one true or false question then here they wanted you uh, to calculate the amount that will be transferred from the trading account to the profit or loss amount or, or, or for the tablet product line for the year and the uh, 31 August 2021 if we have time I'll show you how to do this uh, another true or false question then they wanted you to record the correct general ledger entries for the above transaction in the accounting records of Mabungube traders indicate whether the VAT input or VAT output account was affected by the transaction or neither, as well as the amount uh, the applicable account was affected with. So here what you're supposed to do, you will be dragging and dropping. You'll read the statement, uh, decide which account must be debited and which account must be credited and you write the amount or whether VAT uh, was uh, involved. So that's basically all that you're going to do there. Here you need to choose the correct answer from the given statements. Uh, this one, uh, they want you to record the necessary adjustment and uh, the closing entry in the general journal of Matlanya. So here, this is where you're going to demonstrate if you know how to deal with your credit losses, okay? Uh, then once you're done with uh, that, uh, this question is worth 8 marks, so it's important that you understand how to do this one. Uh, but you must be comfortable to do this one because I've already showed you uh, how to do this in the previous lesson. Okay, 
uh, it's another true or false question and here you're going to compile your inventory account so this is what you're going to do this is your inventory account uh, this one is worth 15 marks okay uh, and then you'll proceed to 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 to, to calculate one calculate the amount that will be transferred from the profit uh, and loss account to the capital account of uh any traders when the closing transfers are done on september blah 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 uh, if we have time i'll show you how to do that one this question is worth i think three to four marks okay uh, then you will get this one you've done this from assignment two you have to choose the correct answer and then uh, this one after your trade has not registered red vendor okay so here you're going to calculate what is the total that will be recorded in the uh, statement of financial position for non-current uh, liabilities or so here you need to be com comfortable uh, uh, identifying current or non-current uh, liabilities okay and stuff like that uh, and here so this is one of the questions that will have uh, more marks so here you are going to demonstrate your understanding of uh, depreciation uh, you're going to capture the information in a table so they will give you this table uh, you'll use the information that you are given here uh, to, to, to fill in this table uh, don't panic I'm going to show you how to do this one because it has a lot of marks okay and then once you're done with that one you will have uh, something like this so here you need to uh, understand how to deal with uh, income received in advance okay or prepaid expenses this is worth eight marks I'll show you how to do this one uh, another true or false question another true or false question another true or false question so that uh, that is why I say you shouldn't panic it's not that long and then here you need to calculate the gross profit for the year and that uh, the, the one this they gave you all the information here uh, another true or false question another true or false question another true or false question and then uh, this one is your cash payments general you need to be comfortable dealing with your cash payments general this one I think it's worth five to six marks I'm not sure and then uh, here uh, what do they want what is the closing balance of the trade receivables control account I'll definitely show you how to do this one because I think everyone will get uh, this question just that you'll have different numbers okay and then the last question you're supposed to select the correct answer so that is generally the overview okay uh, but uh, please note that we are going to tackle some of these questions in the uh, next few lessons okay including question number 25 I'm not going to deal with the cash payments channel check this on the lessons that I created for assignment one and two it's always okay there are plenty examples there I'm not going to do that true or false question we are not going to waste time because they are they're going to be different but we might do this one if we have enough time okay and uh, uh, this one we we'll definitely do this one okay uh this one we're definitely going to do that one and uh yeah i think i think that's pretty much what we need to focus on the rest are just uh questions that are linked to your assignment one and two so we're not going to waste time on them okay so that is the overview for assignment number five